Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning at chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your bag to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to, and I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that away. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Dude, it's amazing how different these guys look. Like how much different Dutch looks now. Arthur with his sickness. Oh. You can see these guys aging like right before our eyes. This is tough. What's going on, Charles? Charles. Be right with me. Always. Hmm. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. <sighs> well, this doesn't sound good. Follow me. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. We've, we uh... need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Got to get out of here. The sooner we get out of here, the better. We've also got to get our hat back. We're missing that hat. Up there. I saw quite some, some canoes time. near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Um, I'm yeah, down to try the canoe. Probably a good idea. Okay, good. Sounds fun to me. It's good but, to uh, see you again, Charles. Yeah, next time we're at the wardrobe, you we'll too. get our hat back. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? <laughs> oh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Yeah. 
I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. It's sad, man. Watch this group slowly diminish over the course of this game so far, and I'm sure it's not... Not the last one. I'm sure there are going to be more that are going to pass, but we'll see what we can do. It sounds like we're going to be moving to a pretty questionable area. I don't know. Charles didn't sound like he liked where we were thinking about going, so we'll see. See if we can make a home out of it. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Okay. Well, I see one anyway. That'll do. Come on. I mean, this should be interesting. Okay, Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and the Eagle Flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. So that's why he doesn't well, like it. That I'm makes more here. sense. Not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. So just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. What a beautiful day. Just kidding. And now we've got rapids to deal with. <laughs> Should have taken the horses. Dude, working your way up against the rapids the entire time, that would be awful. Be so tiring. I see some light up here. What do we got? Some of the locals. Oh man. That's Butcher Creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. They uh, don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. We gonna try to make friends or what? All right, let's walk it from here. Good evening. Weird forest people. I. I don't know that I trust it. Charles, are you sure you know what you're getting us into, dude? These Murphy Hills, stranger, might watch where you wander. Hmm. We got our guns, right? Yeah. Bit of a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. We probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. 
Uh, I feel like it's not a very good idea, but we can. Come on. Definitely don't think this was smart, but I also don't want to walk too far, so. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. <laughs> Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their homes. Which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. Stealth mode activated. So many rabbits all over you the place. You see that up ahead? Me. Slow down and keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. All right. Follow me. Stay quiet. Let's do it, bro. <laughs> this is creepy. It's two Let's of us and a lot of them. Come on. Up this way. Right behind you, bro. Got all dead silent there for a second. I thought something was gonna pop out. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Because I do skin. Skinning. Then who do the carrying? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? Oh, what the hell? Oh, ah. Dude, he's, he's got an actual sword. Come on. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. And they were going to eat that person? They're cannibals? We're dealing with cannibals now. Okay. This just got a whole lot weirder. Oh, dude. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. Oh. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What'd you think? We're gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Sneak. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. I don't wanna get a little closer. Ring the right. dinner bell and bring a lot of other people. Around. Make sure our knife is out. Dude, this is... We didn't need this. We definitely did not need this in this game. You see that? Someone's coming out of the cave. I'll keep watch. You deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly. Is he eating that person raw? We should have just done the dynamite, dude. I don't even want to go in here now, if I'm being honest. Thank you. 
Bro, I don't even know what to say. He was just going to town on that person with the machete. Two more down here. What are we gonna do about this? You got any ideas, Charles? We gotta go around them somehow. Lady's screaming for help. We're gonna go save her. Bitches. What's up, boys? We got him coming behind us. Okay. Thank goodness for the mini mat. Got him. They got guns too. We're gonna get you out, ma'am. Don't you worry. Oh, this is freaking terrifying. Why don't we have our shotgun with us? Seymour? Not for now. Come on. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Don't touch me. <laughs> Lady, stop. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. This is gonna make a dope hideout. Andersburg. What do we do with her? Take her Take home. Her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss. You okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag just woke up like this. Bro, she looks like yes. she's out of the grudge or something. They, 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 um, it's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> It's all right, miss. This is kind of sad. Why would they? She saw her entire family die. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I'm glad we were able to rescue her. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annersburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Well, this is a brand new city that we have yet to see. We're over here on the East Coast. Looks like there's a Just lot of logging that goes on. It'll be easier to walk from there.
Got a couple of railroad tracks that come through town. Doesn't look like it's the biggest town ever, but I'm sure it gets the job done. What are we doing? Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy brood guys. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. You don't need to pay me. No, oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to take money for saving a girl from being eaten alive by cannibals. This is down. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Who is that? Thanks, buddy. Didn't mean to cockwalk, bro. I don't know who that is. But seriously, I feel like that cave's gonna be a nice spot, shaded from the elements. It's up where nobody's really ever gonna bother us. We'll have to deal with some crazy cannibals every now and then when we're going back home, but it's better than the Pickertons or a bunch of cops or all the other things we've been having to deal with lately. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me nothing. Miss. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? Oh, what? my Mr. Gosh. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery. And I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, shoot She's me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you betrayed so now, me. What? Just calm down, Arthur. <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her. <laughs> She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Well, at least we found the mole. We should have went and dropped her off with the cannibals. Anyway, chapter six, Beaver Hollow. Let's get it, boys. We keep seeing this buck. We even saw it when we got sick last episode. Try to figure out what it symbolizes. And it's always in that like yellowish hue, you know what I mean? Oh, he does not look good. Well, first things first, you guys can see right here in front of us, we're finally back at our shaving station. So we are absolutely going to gonna shave up here. All right. Um, let's go ahead and move the, that down. That looks pretty good to me. I like that. 
Then we can pomade our hair, get it looking a little bit better. We'll have to go to a barber to, to really get cut up, but at least we're, we're looking okay from that standpoint. We also need to go ahead and hop into our wardrobe here. We're gonna go for hats. We're gonna get that gray hat back. This one. I kind of like that one. Let's go with this. I don't know. It doesn't, like, it's not as nice as the outfit, but it's it's a little beat up, like it's more Arthur's style. Okay, that, uh, that looks good to me. He's looking a little bit better. He looks a little bit less old and, and decrepit with his beard shaved. Without the beard, he just does not look good at all. And it looks like we are gonna go meet Sadie Adler out here, and it's gonna be time that we go save our boy John. Been looking forward to doing this mission, so. Let's go hop on good old Frank the second. And let's roll let's out. For a better day. Well, we made it. He's out in the fields on this island out here, just off the case. coast. I insist. Let's go save him. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor was. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you both. Good old Abigail. All right. All right. Here Let's do this up. thing. The place is surrounded by marshland. She hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? <laughs> This looks kind of like the prison out of GTA. Okay, bring us over. You race around. <gasps> we good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Definitely don't want to be seen here. This would be so terrifying, dude. Is John really worth it? There's a guard up there. I'll deal with him. Okay, I'll follow you up. Up's a daisy. Sorry, bud. All right. Where's John? Somebody's close. Grab that rifle. Digging. You can use the scope. Oh, okay. I can't see anything with you standing there. Call. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Got him. Wait, shit. I don't think that was Ow. Shoot. Where do you think he Let's is? Let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. Oh, shoot, dude. <laughs> it's a straight up prison break. <laughs> Alarms are going off and everything, and we don't even know where John is. Come on, Sadie.
Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. No! Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marston? He ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? There's Just no way this is gonna clear. work. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. Now who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh... He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... They're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good idea. I feel like the other guards would try to take us out. They wouldn't just let you walk in and take whatever prisoner you wanted. They're gonna try to... Please. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Sacrifice. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. <laughs> Sometimes we need a little bit better planning, better execution. We've got people up on the... Th this isn't gonna work. Oh, God. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! They aren't dropping them, Sadie. Hey, myself! Is Jameson in? He's in Saint Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't think they care. Uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, now faster. 14, 15, 16, Now, hurry up. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey. There he is. Hello, oh, you two. They actually let him out. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. We definitely should have hung on to him. We've got to move. Come on. I'm not going to shoot him. We definitely should have hung on to him and slowly backed out of here. Let's just go. There's too many of them. There's no point in us hanging around. Keep this up. Let's move. Dude, this is ridiculous. That guy's in front of us on the left as well. There we go. 
Just keep running. Should I be following y'all or? Are you gonna tell me when to run? You told me to hold it down. I'm holding it down for now. I do have this thing. I can't see anything though. That's quite the range we got, boy. I'm, I'm gonna run with them. I'm assuming they're ready for us. I feel like this boat isn't the best getaway vehicle. Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. <laughs> here we go, boys. Turn that boat around, or we will gun you down. Good luck with that, sir. We are mission shots, baby. We're on point. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. All right. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. I agree. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like, like family. Yeah, he's like a grandfather. Lenny too. No, what a goddamn mess. And did we? What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, <laughs> you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Uh-oh. Not Jane himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. <laughs> Guess not. 
Yeah, I I liked Dutch at first. I really don't like him that much anymore. I, I something's something's changed, and I I don't feel like it's just the stress. I feel like he's like his true colors are showing. You know what I mean? Like it's not a temporary thing. I think he's. I always thought he was selfish, but I think he's really kind of truly showing that now. I just don't know if I can trust him. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Not good. The group is splitting. You can literally watch it tearing apart. Arthur's health is deteriorating. Dutch is going batshit crazy. Things are not good. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Sounds like we're going to be going to Annisburg, a little mining town that we brought that one girl we rescued to. Let's, uh, go ahead and... Oh, we're wanted dead or alive in this region? Oh, man. That's rough. We're gonna have some trouble to deal with now. My goodness, dude. It just, it never, it never lightens up. It never gets Arthur. easier. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. Trouble's brewing. Trouble is definitely brewing. Well, we made it to Ansberg. It looks like we're going to be going up into some of these houses. Got to try to try to figure out what's going on. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are and where we are. We're doing the way I see it. Best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen. 
and fast. Otherwise, Goldwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Just a social call. All right. Here we go. Gonna try to make some money. So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out. And he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. I don't fully understand what he's planning here, but... Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's see. Let's get down here behind these crates. It's a lot of security. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. <laughs> this Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your laws. <laughs> Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? Oh, I'm God. not dude. quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your oh my life. god! Noise, Arthur! Noise! He just killed him! 
Wait, seriously? Now we're gonna have the Pinkertons on the other side too. Give me a second. I'm definitely gonna go loot old dude. Where is he? He had to be somewhere around here. He would have been loaded. Let's see him. Alright, let's just go. I can't believe he just straight up shot. Shot the guy. Dutch is a savage now. Alright. Good shots, bro. We need to get all of our weapons back from, uh... They're shooting from that building! ...on the horse. These slow to bloom weapons are just not, not very fun to use. Look out! Up there on the left! Come on! This way! Up the stairs! That's our boy. I almost shot him. Let's get upstairs. Cornwall's men are all over the place. Follow me and stay close. He killed Cornwall, didn't he? Like that that was like a center mass shot, or was that something that he could have survived from? I'm not even sure. Trust me. Trust you. You sure you got the lungs for this, Morgan? Shut the hell up! Switch to our revolver. Clear us some space. You said this wasn't a revolver. Woo! Miss, it wasn't. We got what we came for. Those papers. Come on, through what, here. What good do those papers do us? shots today. I gotta give them credit. Normally they're not as quick to hit it, but... Man, this rifle sucks. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. It does good damage, but it takes so long to reload, so long to cock, so long to... Shots, but I feel like we were on point today. Everybody was getting eliminations. Whoa. We 
all okay? Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let Some me Cornwall see them stuff. papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. <laughs> Just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Dude, I don't like his eyes. The the blood bloodshot red eyes. Ugh. Absolutely not good, man. This is uh I don't know. Things are, are getting a little bit too hot. I feel like Dutch always just... Idiot. When one thing doesn't work, he kind of forces the next one, and it, it just kind of domino effects into a big cluster of non-optimal results. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Whoa, Hold on a second. Right. Is there somebody right here? What's up, bro? What's going on? You need help? Just go away, will you? What's happening? I'm not talking to you because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. Is he talking to God? How come, how come you get to make the choice and not me? Just leave me alone, will you? It won't let me talk to him. This is exhausting. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next one. Hopefully, we don't wreck our horse more. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys there. Peace out.